Hi, I'm Melanie, co-creator of Calipeg. For this demo, I am using a 2020 iPad Pro, 12.9 inches, and an Apple Pencil, second generation. I start in the studio, where the animation shots are. Swipe from right to left on a shot to access the options. To create a scene, I can tap on Select, select multiple shots and group them inside a scene. I can remove a shot from the scene like this. And I can dismantle the scene to get all the shots back the way they were. I can import an existing shot or create a new one with presets. All by setting my own parameters. I tap on Create to open the new shot and I tap on this icon to go back to the studio. I delete this new shot and open an old animation shot. This shot contains 25 layers. To play it, I can scrub in the timeline or hit play. And I hide the timeline and all the interface tools with the tap of a finger. I create a new shot. To create a new drawing sheet, I can double tap on the frame or simply start drawing. There are a few brushes to choose from. I select the pencil and I can choose a color using the chromatic wheel. I will draw a first pose on this drawing sheet. I can use the transformation tool to move my drawing. I double tap on the next frame to create a new drawing sheet and I can see the last drawing thanks to the onion skin. I switch to the eraser next to the brush in order to erase a part of my drawing. I scrub in the timeline to quickly check my movement. By selecting my drawing sheets, I can access more options and create an in-between. At any moment, I can manage the onion skin display and opacity. I can duplicate a drawing sheet and place it wherever I want in the timeline. And now I double tap to add a new in-between drawing sheet. If I want to delete a drawing sheet, I select it to access the options and delete it. I can drag three fingers on the screen up and down to flip through my drawings. If I select all my drawing sheets, I can create new drawing sheets between all existing ones. I can change the timing of the animation by extending the drawing sheets. I continue to add drawings and quickly manage my timeline with the timeline options. The layer options allow me to duplicate this layer without the content and lower its opacity to clean my animation. In the brush list, I choose another brush and add more smoothing to get a cleaner line. If I want to focus on the line work and no longer on the animation, I can hide the timeline. In a new shot, I add a video layer and I import a video from a photo album. I can see now a video clip in my timeline. 
I lower the opacity of the video and place the drawing layer on top to draw over it. There is also an audio layer in Calipeg. Créez vos images et racontez vos histoires. Créez vos images et racontez vos histoires. And a transformation layer, which allows me to use keyframing techniques to quickly animate a movement. I can make the wheels turn on a transformation layer, and with another transformation layer, I move the train from left to right. I can export my shot from Calipeg as a Calipeg file, a PNG sequence with or without a layer structure or background as a MP4 or HEVC file, with or without background, GIF or JSON. You can learn everything about Calipeg on calipeg.com slash learn and try it for free on your iPad for 7 days. Have fun!